The American League wildcard race is really getting interesting for the Toronto Blue Jays as they go up 5-0 in the game and then ended up losing this game 8-7. A very disappointing one. They got two runs in the top of the ninth to try and come back a bit, but unfortunately they could not get the job done. But David Schneider looked fantastic there in that top of the ninth as well. But it just was really unfortunate there that the Blue Jays you know, go up 5 nothing to a team like Colorado, who are obviously not a great ball team, and end up losing that game somehow 8-7. to Just a very disappointing loss, and definitely not what you want to see out of a team that's supposed to be competing for a World Series this year. But the wildcard race is getting really close. And when you take a look at who the third-place wildcard team is currently, it is the Texas Rangers, who the Jays are one and a half games back from. And you look at the schedule, we finish off that last third game of the series against the Rockies on Sunday. Then you have three against the Oakland A's. And then you come back home after that for three against the Royals. And then four against the Texas Rangers. Like I said, the Jays are one and a half games back from of that third wildcard spot. That series will be huge and will really mean whether or not the Blue Jays have a good chance or a bad chance of making it. I mean, if we swept that series, for example... That would more than likely at that time put us into a good spot in the wild card, at least in the third wild card spot, I'd imagine. So we really got to get on a win streak here. We got to start winning games. And the schedule right now is easy. We have that third game, like I said, against the Rockies. Then you got three against the A's, who are awful. Three against the Royals, who are awful. You got four against Texas, who they have been kind of bad as of late, but they're still going to be a solid team. So that's going to be tough. And obviously, they're going to know that it's really coming down to us and them for pretty much that third wild card spot right now. Houston is one game up on Texas, but with how Texas have been playing right now, they really have been kind of bad. So we'll see what happens there. Houston is also on a two-game losing streak, so you never know. It pretty much is coming down to three teams for that second and third wildcard spot. You have Tampa, who is in the top wildcard spot, and who is five and a half games up on Houston. We are two and a half back of Houston, and we're, all, like I said, one game, one and a half games back of Texas. So it's pretty much coming down to three teams for those last two wildcard spots. And, you know, all three teams right now are on a losing streak right now. I mean, we're only on a, a one-game losing streak, but you got Texas on a three-game losing streak and Houston on a two-game losing streak. So we got to make us some ground here. But playing a team like Texas will hopefully benefit us as well. I mean, if we can at least take three out of four in that series, that could be absolutely massive. You also got, after that Texas series, three against Boston at home, which they're not going to be, a, you know, a walk in the park by any means, but they're definitely not an amazing, amazing team. But we have struggled against them at times. So... Who knows what's going to happen there, but hopefully we can get the job done there against them because that will be a very important series to win. And we have three against the New York Yankees who we have struggled with against as well in the past, but we definitely can take some games away from them because they aren't a great team this year. And you have three against Tampa, then three against the Yankees again, and then three again against the Rays. So we've got six more games left against the Yankees, six against the Rays, and then you got three against Boston. We have been pretty bad against teams in our own division, so... We'll see how that goes, but hopefully we can get the job done. You really do need to see a win streak here. So if you can pick up that last game, the third game of that series against the Rockies, and then you know sweep the A's, for example, you're on a four-game winning streak there going into a series at home against the Royals. So ideally, we win the next seven games here, go on a seven-game win streak, you know, finish that last game against the Rockies, win that, then win three uh, in a row there against the A's in Oakland, and then you come back home, win three again in a row against the Royals. You're on a seven-game winning streak going into that four-game series at home against Texas, who at that time could win seven in a row there. We could be in that third wildcard spot with how they've been playing as of late, and it really is just time to get wins, and nothing else matters right now but wins. You got to get the job done if we want to make playoffs, and you know winning these games against these bad teams here are going to be very important because we aren't we are playing some you know, pretty solid teams. Boston, Yankees, Rays, those are not bum teams. Same thing with the Rangers. They're solid teams. Even with the Yankees, with how bad they've been this year, they're still not going to be a walk in the park. They're going to be a decent team, I'm sure, especially against us. So we definitely, we just need to get the job done and win some games here, especially going into Yankee Stadium for three of there as well. It's not going to be easy. Same thing with three games at the Trop. We have been awful there in the past, so hopefully... We can go on a nice little win streak here and make the playoffs because if we don't, this thing will look very bad and we could see a ton of changes in the offseason because this team, if we don't make the playoffs, will be extremely disappointing. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, please smash the like button. Definitely subscribe for daily Toronto Blue Jays content and comment down below your guys' thoughts on the Blue Jays currently and how they're doing in this wildcard race because it is coming down to the wire, but we still are only one and a half games back of Texas and two and a half back of Houston.